we come in the other day and me and Shannon were doing our green zone on the treadmills. Obviously, there's only two treadmills. We meant to, everyone's meant to go on a Monday from the gym. I said to Joe, just do it from my house. He went, no, we'll go as a team. He even texted me saying, I'm just going to do mine on the treadmill. I was waiting on him here. He said, I'm just going to do mine on the treadmill. I said, if he's doing his on the treadmill, I'm doing mine on the treadmill. So I jumped on, did mine on the treadmill. Shannon jumped on beside me. So when he got here, there was no treadmill for him. So I've turned up on Monday. I mean, Shannon on the treadmill, no one else is going. Had to do it my own own reason. And he had to go out by himself and do it around. So he threw a huff, and Shannon was like, oh my God, she'd never seen him like that before. I, was, I know Kevin since he's 14. That's just what he does. He's okay. Like, I'm, I'm on, but I get the work done. Let me let me get my moan out of the way, and then I'll do the work. Go on, mates again. What? Yeah, I'm doing it now. What did you do it on? That bike. That's easy. That bike. I know. That's why I done it. He jumps on the easy one. I want to put pain on somebody. What separates me from every fighter is my mind. I adopt so quickly in there. This is about Gary Cully for me getting back to to where I know I'm at. Technically, I'm uh, miles, miles, miles apart from Troy. Showing everybody what I can do and uh, showing myself what I can do more so. You can switch your lights off very quickly, so be prepared. Yeah, it's good to have Gary in the, in the same gym. Do you know what I mean? We, we spent many of years on the Irish um, national team together since 2012, I think. We were going to Russia um, in training camps, competitions um, together. So, yeah, it's good. It's mad how things work out. We're both now in um, Liverpool training together. I've wanted to go back to kind of give back to my fans and become that Irish star that I feel like I can be in headline shows back in Belfast. So, for me, this is the first step in doing so. I've got a job ahead of me. I'm November 25th, we're going back to Dublin, which is my hometown, and we're going straight back there after coming off a loss. I'm not in the winners' club right now, and I believe that, that that's where I'm supposed to be. And there's a bit of pressure to get back into that club, obviously, but I'm not feeling no outside pressure. This is this is personal, and this is this is me versus me this time around. Something wasn't quite quite right with me. I didn't I didn't really know at the time, but my mind wasn't fully focused. Everything was just planned for the party after and the celebrations and wow, what a what a show, what a what a week! And uh, I took my eye off having a fight in front of me. I've uh, I've been through I've been through some ups and downs in my life, but that was that was definitely the the hardest. It felt like the world was ending at one point. Um, I thought it was, but it, it taught me it taught me lots of lessons. Um, I think I've learned a lot from it as well, and um, I'm looking forward to showing that. Like I said, on November 25th, probably in in back in Dublin and back in Ireland, I fell into that trap as well of the diva Gary Cully. Oh, here's Gary, and Gary's the Gary's the guy, Gary's the man, and I probably fell into that trap a little bit as well, and and start believing my own hype a little bit. I wanted to impress it, and I just went to gonna just. Fuck walk through this kid, like, you know what I mean? I just wasn't fully focused, wasn't fully present on, on Jose Felix and the head When I come in here, I'm just another one of the lads. Darren Till's training in here with us and he's just Darren, he's just another one of the lads. That's the shot. That's the one. I've got the second chance and uh, I've got to make it right. So to come back and, and show them that, that I really am what I say I am, it's important to me for sure. The first line of defence is your feet, second your hands, third is your upper body movement. If I want to go in there and make it dirty, make it ugly, have a turret with Troy, I can do so. I want to back on the back foot, make him miss for 10 rounds and, and outbox him just like Josh Kelly did, I can do so. I'd probably punch, if not harder, just as hard as Troy. But what separates me from every fighter is my mind, I adopt so quickly in there. Jab, stab. <coughs> Beautiful shot, and again. Step <coughs> <That> back. <coughs> Beautiful. Look at you, Dad. I'm about to head left. Switch it, you cunt! One more, let's go! Jump step back. Yeah! 
There was a few commentary disrespecting me saying about turning the fight down. Let's put it straight, I've never turned the fight down against anybody. People, anyone that came out and said that I didn't want the fight and I wanted an easier fight is absolute nonsense. Beautiful. That's one. Come on, stop looking at the clock, you lazy cunt. Oh. Bam. Back him up, doubly. Here's the catch. <laughs> Woo! If he, get, if he walks his way in to inside what Niall's doing, you're letting him get in. Yeah? If he walks in and you let him get in like that, it's got to be for what? For a trap. Just don't let him walk you fucking down. If your pan man's going to walk you down, he's going to walk you down. Yeah? Don't let him walk you down. Keep trying to walk him now. Don't let him. See, guard him. There you go. Make Niall pink. Uh, Rhys Mould, he's tough, he's game, he's, uh, he's been around the block, 19 fights, 18 wins, only lost to Lee Wood. So he's no mug, he knows what he's doing, he's going to come to fight, he's going to come to win. Hit and don't get hit. Rule number two, fucking hit him before he hits you. If you master them two, you won't lose. You're on the pads with Niall. And then you're just going short. What are you letting them in for? Yeah, yeah, just keep them there. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam. Then we are going. Yeah. Why just let him in? It was just tech though, so it wasn't like rounds and you're fucked after around that. It was just different. See them, we do grab sessions first two weeks of camp and it's just like four shots in the back, four shots to get fit. But you, you don't need to think whereas if you're thinking it's a little bit more. Concentration is a skill as well, isn't it, that you need to train. The knockouts will come if you just let them come. Uh, I was told a quote before, it's actually by a sports psychologist, like, let, the, let the wind come to you. Just relax and let the wind come to you, and sometimes you can be a little bit over eager, go chasing it a little bit too much. Unfortunately, I've known him away. So, Joe, say, Joe says we have to do this session. I'll jump on the train and go, all right, we should do this session. Keep it and stand there, argue for 15 minutes, then jump on and do the session. And see. He just needs to get the argument in. He's gonna say all the stories about me. I didn't say I'm mad about you. Promise. He's only asked me how long have I known you. He's got me so paranoid. Final message for Troy. Just be prepared on the night. It's going to be very, very, very noisy in there on, on December second. I want to put pain on somebody, and I want to put on a performance and and beat somebody down and uh, yeah, show I'm at the level that I say I'm at. Whenever the, the fans are screaming my name and you lose that concentration for one second, you can switch your lights off very quickly, so be prepared. I see you on November 25th. Like I said, it's not about Reese Mould. This is about Gary Cully for me getting back to, to where I know I'm at, showing everybody what I can do and uh, showing myself what I can do more so.